new batsman is Junior Murray. Coming out now at 114 for five. Be the outside edge on his way to Stuart. The shot for four. He's a pretty good batsman lower in the order, Junior Murray. He made 100 recently in uh, a test match. Wide of Neil Fairbrother again. Mark Ramprakash has a longest chase. Good pick up and uh, seems to be releasing the ball before he went over the boundary. Very good piece of work from the Middlesex man. Hoiked away, that's over the top. And six runs. No mistaking that signal from Dickie Bird. And it brings a grin to the face of Junior Murray. Yeah, Junior Murray prefers to hit to the onside. That's his favourite area, and he hits up very good. a big hit. Graham Hick is out at deep mid wicket. He's not going to reach it. Defiance from Junior Murray. And the six runs signalled by Roy Palmer. Well, it's a good hit because they're quite big boundaries at the oval. It is his strong side, the onside. But this pitch offers batsmen the opportunity to play shots because of the nice bounce. Uh, Junior Murray has stayed on 49. Now goes uh, to his half century. Beautiful stroke. And very well fielded. Well, they get the four anyway. Just dropping short, and now it is going to be all over. The run certainly wasn't there. England have won this second one day international at the Oval. Peter Martin, well, he doesn't get five wickets. He's got four. He's there at the end. Mike Atherton can now finally relax with this game in the bag. It was uh, another mix-up for the West Indies that saw that final wicket falling. And Peter Martin, on his debut, he's entitled to smile. Even Mike Atherton might manage a little grin. England have won the match, and the series stands at one all.